put this away. Saddest looking fridge in the world. Oh well. Whoa! Oh, I, <laughs> I, I was just told to stand there and I do what I'm told because I'm no longer just an Instagram husband. I'm now a YouTube husband. Oh, excellent. I didn't know you were there. Oh, I was just hanging out. Just hanging out by the beer. With the cockroaches. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, we've got a video yeah. for that later, but yeah. anyway. tonight we were going to kind of talk about... What are we doing, T? <laughs> have a seat in the camp kitchen <laughs> slash office slash dining room. It's Join like... us. <laughs> tonight on Dragon Face TV, uh, we are going to be talking about the first stretch of the Race of the Rock course. Yeah. T, if you're all the way over there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you've got we to get in the shot that we're somehow. both on, on the shot. We've got to somehow get in. So we're huddled up here in the camp kitchen. <laughs> so that we stay in shot. Chateau dragon face. <laughs> in the salubrious option B. Tropical of Van Park. Caravan Park. Mariva. Um, anyway, so what are we talking about in this video? Uh, this is the start intro. of the Race to the Rock. Start of the Race to the Rock course. Um, geez, it was an amazing trip um, down towards Port Douglas and then back up again. So yeah. we started in Port Douglas. So riding. we did a bonus section. We did a bonus section. Yeah, we went down the bum track, which is, which is technically way. the way you're meant to ride it because it's a downhill mm. track. But that's um, not how we do things for Race the Rock. <laughs> Race the Rock, you're going up it. Yeah. Um, because there really isn't another option too. It's the old bridle track to get up and over the range. But anyway, we started on this idyllic beach. Four Mile Beach. Is it Four Mile Beach? Four Mile. Four, four yeah. Mile Beach, Beach in Port Douglas. Beautiful, uh, nice sand, blue water, 30 degrees, and then a big punch in the face up the bump track. Yep. Um, and then we also had the, the mud baths. Oh. So Black Mountain Road on the way in. Our skin looks fantastic. Yes, and our bikes are glowing. Our bikes, <laughs> our bikes look terrible. Our <laughs> bikes are glowing. Yeah. So but what better way to start? Knowing, knowing that existed, we still went back for more as well. Yeah, we did it again the other way. Um, so but what, what a better way to start a ride yeah. of a billion kilometres than just Trash. dipping your bike up to above the axles and bottom bracket in mud. Ruin the whole drive train on day one. That was um, So not, first dip it in the right. beach, like yeah. run some salt water through it, mm. then wear your brake pads out using it as an anchor to get mm. up the bump track. Mm. Then a river crossing, just to make Fuel sure those. you get some yeah. more, more water in there. Mm. And then a mud bath. Um, but actually, we do need to do a simulation because I don't think we covered it Oh, I put properly. the video in there. Yeah, we, I don't think we covered oh, it okay. properly. If you're doing Race the Rock <laughs> this year, you're going to get to know these things that look like this. It's called Wait a While Vine. It's a Wait a While Vine. It's not... I know it looks like an, an iPhone charger. It does look like an iPhone charger, <laughs> but it's not. It's a Wait a While Vine. Yeah. You're going to come tearing down a hill. And this thing here, mm. it's like a hacksaw blade, yeah. a super thin one, hacksaw blade hanging from the top of a tree. But instead of all the little blades on the hacksaw blade, they're being replaced by fish hooks. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Fish hooks. One undid my shoe. It took her sure. <laughs> Stole it and ate it. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I've got a little bit of blood there, a bit of damage. I've been picking yeah. these things out of my hands. Um, so you're going to get to know them quite yeah. well. Wait a um, while, Vines. Yeah. They don't just sit nicely over to the side of the trail. No, 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 no. Right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it would it would go like that yeah. on teeth and then just she wouldn't be able to get it off. She'd have to drag it off, off. her. Or she'd yeah. rip part of her face, de-glove her face. <laughs> I think that's the technical term. Um, we do feature but, that in our little montage. Yeah. So anyway, look out for, yeah. for those guys. Yeah. In poor light. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad. I think you're gonna to need to wear some sort of long sleeve shirt. Or like some a... kind of helmet with some spinning machetes. <laughs> <laughs> you know like those old propeller hats? But instead just have <laughs> big machetes. Big just <laughs> just <laughs> lean forward. <laughs> or, or just don't do rest to the rock. <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. No. No. Anyway. Anyway, that was um, a very long intro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's go to the action. <laughs> Having fun yet? <laughs> I 
That's cool because we got like a hotel room to go to. <laughs> I'll just wash my feet here. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, they might have been deep. <laughs> <laughs> JC's a bit stronger than me. He can lift his bike. <gasps> so, what do you think of the bump track? It's bumpy. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> bit hard with all this bloody weight. <laughs> we need to explain to people we're going in the wrong direction. I think I've pushed not even a kilometre yet. Can't tell how steep it is, obviously. No. That was seriously steep. So what do you do? You push your bike, grab the brakes, and then pull your yeah, body up. Yeah, you use it like an anchor. Give us a demo. Oh, hey. Oh, hi, T. Nancy, <laughs> seeing you here. Oh, wow. He's out here riding the bump track. Who is it? It's Steve. <laughs> A bit bumpy. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, look, it's another nature video with um, Team Dragonface here. <laughs> One thing we've learnt about in FNQ are these little buggers. I can't swear because yeah. it's PG. Because the F would stand for something else right these now. These things, see the little barbs on them? I yeah. don't know if you can get in there. Yeah. They hook onto you and they mm -hmm. rip the shit out of you. Like, Teef's t-shirt. Yesterday. Took... Took a bit of a hit there, I don't know. Yeah, can you see this? Yesterday, sorry Dave. Oh, there we go. Sorry Dave. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Yeah, look. It, um, we it almost took me off my bike mm. yesterday. It's like people are trying to slow me down, like nature is slowing mm. me down. So we're looking out for these buggers. Yeah. You can see the barbs all on the, on the fronds there. They're actually, of... um, when it's like almost dusk or the, you're riding into the sun, you can't see, can't them. see them. And that's how I got trapped yesterday. Most of them are on the side of the trail, yeah. but occasionally there's a bugger like this that just gets you. I, um, we don't know what they're called because it, we're novices, but I'm sure you guys will tell us. <laughs> Maybe they're, called, they're the wait a while ones. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to Maybe. put expletives in if I yeah. gave it a name. One of them, <laughs> one of them actually latched onto my shoelace before and undid my shoe. <laughs> so you're telling me that nature isn't alive. <laughs> yeah, Very cool. It'd be bad to get one of those on the neck, wouldn't it? Mm. Hmm. We're on the face. All right. Yeah. So if you're up here riding, look out for these buggers. They'll yeah. tear you to shreds. Yep. Yep. Oh, well. Back to the bump track. Yep. Let's bump. This is like the reward for the bump track, isn't it? Yeah, nice little street crossing. Have a little wash. So we just climbed the bump track today. Climbed, pushed, squealed, grunted. This is the best bit. Bit of a drop in, bit of a climb out, but you can't see it. Some really cool trees. Not bad for our office. Alright, let's do it. Super peaceful. We're going to love this. We're, well, we're on the descent. We're going the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> had it all today. Had mud, river crossings. <laughs> now we're, now we're racing, racing the sun to get. Yep. 
You going to Port Douglas before dark? They're huge. We need a banana for scale too. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he awesome? Yeah, but um, on the ground, if one's running towards you, yeah. <laughs> get out of the way because it'll think you're a tree. What's the plan here? <laughs> get through the mud. It's looking a bit It's a bit better sloshy. than yesterday. Mm. You gotta look for the dark bits. Dark bits are good. All right, let's get into it. Got your mud stick cap yep. in your teeth. Yeah, you gotta bang it off. <laughs> Clear the leaves out. Yeah. Get right in there. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Let me just get here. Just gotta clear it in Oops. time for the next mud pit. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes there's just no way around, especially yeah. in the jungle here. Yeah. It just um turns to deep mud. We got a new hookup. New sponsor, uh, Velotos. This is the mud edition. Um, you actually just they spray on. You don't actually stretch them on. They just spray on now. <laughs> wow, T. How amazing did that look? That was amazing. I think the video was actually shorter than the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep this. Yeah. I think this is an outro. Yeah. That's right. It comes in three three installments just to. Just to outdo the intro. <laughs> Thanks again to Ramrod Media for the professional production here. So, yeah. look, the Race the Rock, uh, first leg, starting on an idyllic beach, Port Douglas, up the bump track, which um, bump, 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 which you're going to remember. You won't forget that the name of that track mm. in a long time. And, uh, yeah, hopefully Black Mountain Road will be a little less muddy by then. Yeah, Although wet we could season. Have, yeah. yeah, it was a really harsh wet season. Um, so a lot of the trails, uh, a lot of the tracks up there, the lesser used tracks, I just completely overgrown um, and probably won't be yep. cleared for a little while yet. So we're trying to find good ways through um, that are probably going to be more accessible throughout the year as well. Um, be a particularly rough wet season up here this year. So a lot of the the smaller tracks are just totally trashed and grown over. Anyway, um, so we're just wrapping things up here in um, the Weaver. beautiful the beautiful surrounds of, of um, this tropical van wonderful... park. Caravan Park yeah. in Mariba and um, no cockroaches tonight. Yeah, I think they did the cleaning. They might have yeah. overheard us talking yeah. about the cockroaches yeah. last night. Um, so yeah, hopefully the roar of traffic <laughs> is going to be a little less serious tonight. We're right by the highway. We've got beautiful highway access. It's a very um, long outro. It is. Mm. Well, we're up to a minute forty. But anyway, okay. um, so we'll wrap it up. Teeth, um, look. It's been it's been a pleasure again as always. <laughs> Looking forward to more creative ways of doing our intros and outros. If you have a way you would like us to do an intro and outro, please leave a comment <laughs> below. That's what they do on <laughs> these the videos. Table. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, see you next time.